like a balloon floating in space, the tiny bloated frog explained. I can't get my bearings. Tracy was a California healer, and she hired me to communicate with Buffy and Bandit, tiny African dwarf frog mates. It was a new species for me, so I was excited to get started. It was my great pleasure to introduce myself to these tiny amphibians that hail from the Congo River Basin. Buffy and Bandit were mates, but Buffy wasn't feeling very well. Even though she's naturally 40% larger than her male counterpart, Buffy was way too puffed up and in some serious trouble. In African dwarf frogs, lateral lines run the length of their bodies, both on the top and underneath, and it's how they sense movement and find food in their watery habitat. That system was dangerously disrupted in Buffy's body. As I readied myself for the session, Spirit directed me straight to a 2008 academic study about dwarf frogs subjected to construction vibrations, namely jackhammering. Scientists reported visible ripples in the water as construction proceeded. The frogs in the tanks lost buoyancy and ultimately about 7 out of 10 died of bloat or strangulation. Being taken to this study right before the session prompted me to ask Tracy if her house was under construction. It was, and the jackhammers had just stopped the day before. We made a plan to move the frogs to Tracy's office after Bandit told me it was very zen there. Tracy laughed and confirmed that it was a very peaceful place in her office. During the consultation, Buffy was at home and Tracy was at work. She arrived home to find that Buffy had not survived the day. She'd passed away. Earlier that very morning, Tracy experienced a deep soul connection as she locked eyes with the tiny amphibian. The two peered into each other's eyes for a long moment. Tracy sent gratitude to her new angel guardian frog for that exchange. The little spirit frog I saw was full of joy, playfulness, and happy memories. Buffy said her life was fulfilled by what we learned from her and passed on to others. She loved being treated like frog royalty, and she called herself a teaching frog. Lots of people learned from her, and the learning would continue from our shared experience, she told me.